For several years, Helena's historic 7th Avenue gym has been facing an uncertain future. MTN's Jonathan Ambarian reports Helena School District leaders are taking a closer look at what could be next for the building. Helena's 7th Avenue gym, adjacent to Central School, dates back to 1908. A lot of people have memories that grew up in Helena of playing basketball or exercising or going to community events in that space. But for the last six years, the gym has seen relatively little use. The school district brought in SMA architects to help conduct a feasibility study about possible future uses. The report, completed earlier this year, contains hundreds of pages of information. It's a fascinating document. It includes a lot of options and what potentially would need to be done to the gym itself in order to upgrade according to some of those options. The report found the gym can be redeveloped, though it will take investment. One estimate put total renovation costs between $3.2 and $3.7 million. Next week, the Helena School District Board of Trustees will hear a summary presentation about the findings. Superintendent Tyler Ream says it's important for the full board and the public to know what's in the report. We don't know what the next chapter will be, but we want to be really transparent about kind of the details that might go into making a decision, uh, whether it be through the district or a third party that comes in and, and, and takes over that space. During construction on the new Central School, the 7th Avenue gym was used as a headquarters for the contractors. And currently, the school district uses it mostly as storage space. No matter what happens with the building, leaders say they want to make sure it doesn't sit vacant. Last thing we would want is a vacant building that has no plans sitting right next to a parking lot, a gym, and a playground at Central School. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. The Helena School Board will hear the summary report on the 7th Avenue gym during their regular board meeting next Tuesday. The meeting will start at 530 at the Ray Bjork Learning Center.